in this lecture, we will cover the five why. Here again, we will address three questions. First, what is the five whys? Second, why is the five whys important? And third, when should the five whys be used? Let's start with the lecture. So, what is five why? A five why is an iterative probing technique to get to the root cause of an effect for a problem. The answer to the first why uncovers another reason and generates another why. Often takes five whys to arrive to the root cause of the problem. And the five whys is used in conjunction with a fishbone diagram to uncover the root cause of performance issues. Let's see an example to understand this. This is an example of 5Y analysis. There were two buildings that were constructed at the same time. The construction material used was the same quality. It was procured from the same vendor. The buildings were constructed by the same company. Even if everything was the same, one of the buildings had to be painted every two to three years. It looked dull compared to the other building. No one knew the root cause of this. Soon, it became a concern for the homeowners of that building. They began to discuss the issue. The building administrator called for a meeting and included homeowners who stayed in that building, the staff who helped to maintain the building, and the administrator who is well-versed with using the 5Y analysis tool. Now, the administrator is the person who will ask questions. So, this is the first question by the administrator. Why does our building has to be recolored after two to three years? And suppose the answer is, because our building starts looking dull within that period. Then taking the second answer account, the administrator will frame the second question. Now, the administrator may ask, why does our building start looking dull within a span of two to three years? Suppose the answer is, because we see feces of birds, especially pigeons, in our building. Now, Using this answer, administrator framed the third question. Why does our building have more feces of birds than the other building? To this, someone may answer, because they flock together in our building compared to the other building. Administrator's fourth question will be, why do these birds flock to our building and not flocks so much on the other building? The answer could be, because these birds feed on the insects that appear on our building. Now the administrator will ask the fifth why question. Why are there more insects appearing on our building than the other building? Because we switch on the building lights at 6 p.m., which is earlier than the other building. This is how the administrator asks five whys to conclude. So, the analysis is, the lights for the other building are switched on when it starts getting darker. So because we switch on the lights at an earlier time, the insects get attracted to the lights of our building. This in turn attracts the birds. When birds flock to eat insects, there are feces on our building that finally leads to the dull appearance of the building compared to the other building. As a resulting action, the building administrator stopped switching on the lights at 5 p.m. each day. They only switched on the light as it started becoming darker in the evening. After all, they acted on the root cause. They do not have the problem anymore. This identification of the root cause was done effectively only because of the 5Y analysis. Next question is, why is 5Y important? Because it is a simple yet powerful technique that helps the team to collectively reach root causes. It also determines the relationship between the different root causes of a problem and is one of the simplest tools to use, being easy to complete with no statistical analysis required. When should the five whys be used? You use five why analysis when you want to get to the root causes of an effect or a problem. We do so by determining the relationship of possible causes to the effect we are experiencing. In this lecture, we covered what is the five whys. Example of five why. Why is five whys important? And when should the five whys be used?